Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica Michelle and in today's video I'll be doing a what's on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. I'm very excited to be doing this video because a lot of people have actually been requesting for this video and seeing what's on my phone. So if you guys are interested in watching today's video to see how it's my phone is to make sure you go ahead and keep on watching first and foremost so this is my phone like I did say I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max it's in the color silver I really like this color because it's just white and it looks sleek and very fancy in a way for myself this is my case this case is actually from Princess Polly I really like it a lot because this month for some reason green or like this pastel green has been like my favorite color for some reason I don't know why or what is the reasoning behind that but I just went ahead and got this case from Princess Polly I just really like how it is pastel and also in the middle it's like a darker heart right there of green but my phone actually has like a lot of green all over it but I'm pretty sure next month I'll be changing it out of however I'm feeling so this is my lock screen I found this on Pinterest and I really liked it because all green and like I did say green for some reason this month has just been speaking to me but this is how it looks like I just love how it's like a vintagey kind of Pinterest vibe it just makes me so happy when I look at my lock screen so this is what it is so this is how my home screen looks like so as you can see like I I did say green is the theme for the month of June for some reason and I'm just gonna start off with the very first thing which is the top so I did a color widget and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of videos on YouTube that show you how to do this exactly so I just downloaded like color widget and chose whatever pictures I wanted I did find them all on Pinterest so on here I just went ahead and put this color widget specifically because I want to see the percentage on my phone also the day and the date and also the time even though I can see the time and the date but I just personally like it like this a lot better but I do have your average like FaceTime call you already know what that is I have Gmail because I have a million emails and I personally don't like the email or like the mail app that iPhone comes with so I just went ahead and downloaded Gmail next I have clock because you know I gotta wake myself up for class because I do have summer classes every single day but aside from that I have the weather app self-explanatory you know everyone has the weather app and if not you need to get it just so you know what the weather is gonna be outside and then after that I have photos and camera i love this phone so much because it has like the 360 or like the fish eye view thing and i think that's very cool because like you could just do it like very close up normal or you're like whoa you can see like the whole entire room aside from that i do have instagram so if you want to go ahead and follow me on instagram it is erica x michelle it will also be linked down below in the description box and of course i have youtube which is my favorite freaking app on the planet you know you're on youtube right now so if you haven't already make sure you go ahead and subscribe that will mean the entire wrote to me but aside from that I have Facebook I only have Facebook just to connect with my family back in Ecuador and yeah just please don't search me up on Facebook I'm, I'm begging you please and then after I have Pinterest you can actually go ahead and follow me on Pinterest it's just Erica X Michelle just like my Instagram and I do have like my own pins and then things I've saved I have like relationship pins summer 2021 vision board summer outfits fits corgis aesthetic vibes that bitch vibes and all this other good stuff so I really like like going on Pinterest because it gives me ideas for a lot of things just as like outfits and all that stuff seeing what's in the trend lately but aside from Pinterest I have TikTok who doesn't have TikTok nowadays TikTok literally is addicting YouTube is addicting but TikTok is a whole nother level of how to be honest with you I literally stay on my phone 24 7 just because of TikTok of how to be real true I do have Snapchat I have streaks I know that's such like a middle schooler thing to still have no offense to any middle schoolers okay but I remember when Snapchat first came out or whatever that was like a big thing but now people don't really have streaks but I still do just because that's like the only form I communicate with my other friends aside from that I have YouTube studio I feel like everyone knows what YouTube studio is but just like a breakdown of what it is I'm not going to show you guys everything of like my stuff basically if you have a YouTube channel like myself you can see how many subscribers you have if it's going up or down you can see your views on your current video you can see your analytics of all your videos where your revenue is coming from like for the majority of videos and basically it just helps you out figure out like your analytics and like your audience and like where they're coming from where they're like looking like for your videos if it's like on the YouTube like homepage or looking at it through like Google or like Instagram or links and all that stuff aside from that I have LinkedIn which is basically like a Twitter in a way and an Instagram in a way but professionally if that makes sense so when you get into college I feel like everyone should go ahead and create a LinkedIn just so they have like their business profile and so you can have like your resume on there what you're trying to study in college and you can like follow a lot of people on there you 
you can basically get like friendships through that and probably also like friendships like through businesses so they can like look at you to see if they want to get you an internship a job and all that stuff so i feel like linkedin is actually a great opportunity to just get when you're like starting off as a freshman in college i personally just got it last year my junior year and now i'm a senior i wish i've gotten sooner but i didn't really know about it until last year next i have notes i literally write everything down in my notes i write down basically like when i'm planning for youtube i write down like my to-do list my grocery list every kind of list you can possibly think about or like i write down restaurants or picture places to take all the other things that you can possibly think about that you can put in your notes that's what i have on my notes aside from that i have the app Waze. it's like maps but i like it a lot better because it's able to tell you about the traffic what's the fastest route to get to like point a to point b it also tells you like your time of arrival and tells you if there's like any cops or any like cars stopped and all that stuff so i really like Waze a lot so if you're a new driver or you've been driving for a while i personally think that Waze is a great app to have after that on the next page i have life 360 um two of my friends and my boyfriend we all have life 360 so we basically can like track each other um that's not weird if i had to be honest with you um i don't mind it it's just fun sometimes to like look at it but i personally don't always go on it but what helps the most is whenever my boyfriend comes to like pick me up or like try to take me out on a date or we're gonna go do homework i know like exactly how long he's gonna get to my apartment or like how long it's gonna be until he gets to my apartment just so i know when to be ready by so it like helps me a lot to do that but aside from that i don't really use life 360 just it's just there and then i have like find my friends um i do have quite a lot of my friends on there i don't know we all added each other on like find my friends like ages ago so i still have that on my phone i also have the app athlete so basically it's like a workout app but you buy like the programs from like some instagrammers or like influencers so i think i have tara crossley i have like three of her like workout guides but i haven't been to the gym in a while and i need to go back to the gym because i miss the gym and it makes me feel a lot better about myself so aside from athlete i have my fitness plan i have my fitness plan i can't say that <laughs> the hell is wrong with me it's been a long day <sighs> i just need a sip of water so i have my fit so the next app that i have is my fitness pal and i haven't used this in quite a while it's basically like an app that can help you like track your calories like your intake outtake and all that stuff it also helps you to put in like what foods you eat so it helps you track your calories that way and also like how much water you consume throughout the day and also it helps you like see your steps so like your phone whenever you take your phone and you're like walking you're not at the gym or whatever it also helps you like get your steps in and it tells you like how many calories you burn from like walking or doing whatever exercise you were doing throughout the day so I really like the app. I highly recommend it if you're trying to be like on a calorie deficient. After I have Netflix because we're going to Netflix and chill. But I have Netflix just because like the other day I was watching Lucifer and it was like late at night. So I just had my phone right there and I was just watching it at like four in the morning because the new season came out or like the new episodes and I was addicted. After Netflix, I have the Maps app or whatever. On my phone, I did say Waze is a lot better, but sometimes like I do use Maps if like Waze is acting up, like if it's not connecting i just go ahead and use maps after i have a folder called google like the uppercase lowercase letters you know what i'm trying to say so i have that and on here i have like all the google stuff so basically i have google photos i use that because we put photos of like my niece on there i have google calendar because when i was working on campus we had to see like when our schedule was or like when we worked i have google docs because sometimes i need to like go on there to like do an assignment or like recheck some work and then i have the google adsense because if you don't know like if you're a youtuber you get paid through google adsense so you're able to see like how much you made for like the month because you know every youtuber gets paid the 21st of every month so i have that after that i have another folder that's called that bowl sheet i have contacts these are like apps that i don't use like they're just there like do you have those apps am i am i the only person that just has like the bullshit apps is what i'm trying to say so i have contacts of course you know what that is i have the watch because i have an iwatch apple watch whatever you want to call it i also have the calendar app translate don't know why i have translate never used it probably should delete it i have clue which I actually use this one i don't know why it's in this folder but i actually use this one because that helps me track my period and actually like say like when i have cramps or like i'm feeling like a little like off and this and that so i'm able to track my period and know exactly 
when it's gonna come after I have calculator the fitness app the whatsapp I have whatsapp just to communicate with my family back in Ecuador as well and because sometimes my brother sends me like videos of my niece on there I have followers basically you can track your followers on Instagram but I haven't done it in like centuries like I said this is the bullshit or this is the bullshit folder so this is shit I don't even know what I had I also have the app store and settings after that below all those apps I have another color widget and it's like more detail with the calendar it just shows you exactly what day it is like throughout the week so today's Thursday June 17th and it also tells you on the side like the day and the date it tells you like the weekday and the week date After that, I have some more folders and I have this one that's called UNC Charlotte because I go to UNC Charlotte. So I have Canvas. Why did I say Canvas like Canvas? I have Canvas and basically with Canvas, you're able to see all your class assignments. It helps me out a lot just because it gets me to make sure like I'm doing my work and I have like things that are due on Sunday. So that's why I have like five notifications right there. So it lets me know when I have things that are due and it also lets me know like my grades or like when something is put and if I get a message from like my professors, if they send like a Zoom link and all that stuff, I personally think having Canvas on your phone is very useful. So you're not just like waiting until you get your laptop or your iPad or all that other stuff to check your stuff for school. After I have Poll Everywhere, which is an app that like professors use, at least like at UNC Charlotte, they use it. So I don't know if they use it anywhere else. Not saying they're not using it anywhere else, but personally, I've only used it at UNC Charlotte. And um, professors basically like go ahead and like in class, they will give you like a poll, like a question and then just so like participation or like for a grade they'll be like you have to like answer this and you have this amount of time to answer it so you answer it and then you're able to see like what answer was correct like through the professor screen if it's on zoom or in person so that's how professors do that I have Socratic um I don't cheat I use my resources is all I have to say so with Socratic I promise this isn't sponsored but Socratic you're able to actually go ahead go on it and if there's a question you can go ahead and take a picture of it and then it goes ahead and and, like tries to find where like the questions at with the answer or something similar to it or like a textbook or like a website that can help you like try to solve it so if you didn't hear it see it from me is what I'm trying to tell you I don't cheat I just use my resources yeah that's enough said after that i have the app called discord i got this because of my last math class that i had um in the spring we used this to like communicate with like my classmates and like see like what our homework was or like help each other out well i didn't really help each other out but like explain like a problem but wouldn't give you the answer i also have this app called dual mobile and at uncc you use this in order to get onto like your canvas or like your uncc.net or whatever it is to like log in just for security and privacy reasons so every single time you're gonna get a notification if someone tries to like log into your thing or if it's you just so it's like safe and secure that none of your information gets leaked so i really appreciate you and so charlotte for that of course everyone on this planet should know what zoom is at this point yes yes i have zoom sometimes i'm still in bed while class is started but i have zoom just in case i'm driving i put on the side listen to class or if i'm literally in bed over there can't get up to go to my laptop to turn on zoom so i have it on my phone after i don't know what that app is i can't read it i after i have group me no just kidding i have check study just because sometimes i do need help with like my homework and it's not to get like the answers there's usually like questions that are similar to the homework and then i just teach myself how to do it with, with those numbers and stuff specifically speaking for math and then i do it like how my professor gave me the homework so that's why i have check after i have group me self-explanatory it's like a kick it's like messaging but it's called group me so i have a lot of like group me's like for my classes for my sorority for exec for like i can't tell you what else because i can't remember but that's what i have beside that i have another folder and it's called rip bank account rest in peace to my bank account because all these apps except for probably like three of them won't damage my bank account so first one i have bank of america yes i have bank of america no just kidding i have chase no just kidding i have the third no just kidding i have chilean all right well basically i get to check my bank account it's venmo um basically my friends and i like if we're out to eat or like someone forgets their card or they can't use their card we basically like do that or like do one way and then everyone like just venmos each other and like sends money just so it'll be fair so that's how um i use it after i have amazon because amazon is a wonderful place amazon you can get literally anything from amazon a free express shipping or whatever for two days if you have amazon prime i promise this video isn't 
isn't sponsored, but Amazon, I freaking love you, okay? All right, after I have Chick-fil-A, because I love to get my points. I love Chick-fil-A. Who doesn't? If you don't have Chick-fil-A where you live, I am very sorry. Come to North Carolina. We can go ahead and eat some Chick-fil-A together if you've never had it, because Chick-fil-A is literally amazing. Right, I have the wallet app. Basically, if I want to pay with, like, Apple Pay, my card's connected, and I'm fine. Domino's, because my boyfriend and I, we are fat, or we just love to eat pizza together when it's, like, late at night watching a movie. I don't know. We just like to, like, chill together, or, like, my friends and I after, like, a night out, or I don't know. We just like to have Domino's. After I have this app called Tipsy, so basically on this app, I'm able to go ahead and put the amount of tips I got in a day, and also, like, the hours I work, so I've actually started to become a waitress last month, so on here, I'm able to put exactly, like, how much I made for the day, and then how many hours I worked, and then it tells me basically how much I made per hour that I was there. After I have this app called Homebase, because, like, for where I work um, as a waitress, we're supposed to be like using this soon so i just download it because i am a go-getter i am gonna be listening and be using this if we need to be like switching shifts so we're still working on those technical difficulties i have target because who doesn't love target i live at target and it's pretty bad for my bank account so shame on you target shame on you besides that i have smoothie king because smoothie king is my heart and soul even though i haven't been there for so long but i like to get points i have my bath and body works app which i actually went to bath and body works today with my mom and it is fantastic because i get points as well there's the good old Shein right beside my Bath and Body Works and besides that I have Starbucks I use that just from here and there but my boyfriend actually got me a Starbucks gift card for my birthday which was last week so it was on June 12th I turned 21 the big old 21 and then my best friend made me this it's like this little thing that you put over yourself. Yes, there's glitter everywhere and it's the cutest thing ever. I have another folder, ha 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 ha, surprise here, and it's called editing. So I basically like use some of these things to edit like my thumbnails and also use it to like um, edit my pictures on Instagram or like for my sorority as well. So I have Fonato, Fonato, I don't know how to say it. I basically use that to like add the font and put it however I want. If I want it to be curved, if I want it to be like swiggly or like I want to move it in a certain way, different color fonts. I also have Lightroom. I created my own presets, so I'm very proud of that. But I also use my presets for uh, my sorority because I do manage their Instagram account as well. There's Airbrush. I use that just to like take some things out from the background if like the background isn't like clear and there's like something on the wall. That's what I use. There's also Pixar for collages and stuff if I'm using it for a thumbnail. And then we have Resize It. So whenever I screenshot like something from like a video, it could be this video or screenshot it from like something else, I can actually like crop it and put it to the exact size that I need it for YouTube. Aside from that, I have Canva, which I would use for like birthday shout outs for my sorority or also like use it for pubs. I have Magic Eraser, so if I want to make something PNG, I go ahead and use that. I have Anna Um, basically to see like my Instagram feed because I was trying to make it like aesthetic, but Shadi is very struggling. So if you have any tips, please let me know. And then I have Polaroid High Print. So basically, I'm going to show you what it is. It's this app that you can print any picture that you have on your phone. So my boyfriend got me this for my birthday and it's literally my favorite thing on the planet besides Lululemon shorts he got me and then like some Levi shorts and everything else. But this thing is literally like a blessing. I've already printed out like a picture of him when he was a baby to give to his mom, also my niece, and then also like a picture of me and him as well. So this thing is literally like magic. It's so cute. I'm in love with it. So we have that so you can like connect it to your phone and then it prints off. It's very easy. You don't even go to CVS. Don't even go to like Walgreens to print out things. You, you can go ahead and get one of these and mwah, it just comes in clutch after the last folder I have is called Alpha Kai so basically we have this well we don't have this app we use this app called Photo Circle and everyone uploads like an unedited picture on there and then me and my um, social media chair and also my assistant and my sorority that I'm in I can't and talk today what the hell we go ahead and look at the pictures that people post on there and we choose what to post on our social media and then we have this app called mcr is my chapter room basically like all sorority bulls all gotta say when things are like your points and fines and all that stuff is on there and then aside from that my favorite little baby in the entire planet is my beautiful niece her name is olivia she's seven months old she's gonna be eight months on july 4th and i love that princess so much um she is half hispanic and half white her mom is white and my brother is hispanic of course but she's the cutest thing ever i'm literally in love with her i could start crying because i have so much love for that little girl she doesn't even know it yet and then on the bottom i always forget to do this but i have the phone i have safari message and then spotify and make sure you go ahead and follow me on spotify 
but I have literally anything that you can possibly think about. I have like talk about vibing, I have rando bando, I have meh, I wanna cry and be sad because sometimes you have those days. Um, I have like let's party, smooth songs, I have like some old songs when the decade was ending, Christmas, Hispanic music, anything you possibly think about. I personally think you should go ahead and follow me on Spotify. That is all that I have on my phone. I really hope you guys liked and enjoyed today's video. But thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you guys liked and enjoyed it. I love you all so much. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe and follow me on my social media accounts and hit that notification bell. Turn it on so you will be able to be notified when I upload my next video. I love you so, so, so much. And I hope to see you guys for my next video. Kisses. Bye.